the fastest and easiest way to complete collections, get the best cards in the game. And they'll be the show 23 stubs U4GM. Link is in the description. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to go over how you can become a better hitter. Super fast. Three easy tips that you need to know. Now, in this breakdown, I'm going to be showing you my old hitting ways. How you have easy pitches to hit, but you jam the PCI and then you miss easy chances for base runners, home runs, and overall winning the game. Okay, so number one, always take pitches. I know it's hard to do, but you got to remember, you get three strikes every time that you are up to bat. Your opponent is going to test you. He's going to see how many pitches you chase. And in results, if you are patient, you're going to get more mistake pitches. So right here, I'm going to slow it down. Look at my PCI in the bottom left. That is me jamming the PCI way higher or way lower than what I need to do. Okay. Now, we're going to be introducing the C method. With the C method, you're going to take both of your index fingers and then you have the two buttons on top. You're going to slightly place them over them and then you're going to have your thumb barely touching the analog. Okay. Now, when it's barely touching the analog, it's going to be harder for you to jam up because your index is going to be forming a C. So you want them close about an inch apart. It's going to give you less room to be able to jam your PCI. So as you can see right there, very hittable ball. Me jamming the PCI made me move all the way to the left. That's the reason why the C method is important. Now you're going to see the difference when I am making small circles by the C method. And when I am not doing that, I have free roam ability with my thumb to jam up, left, left right down okay so we're going to slow it down number one how you can read pitches better so if you look at the pitcher's brim of his hat they are always in the center of your pci starting off every pitcher stands in the same exact spot on the mound in the center okay you have two different things to read you can read where he delivers the ball from by the brim of his hat number two if the ball is coming to you super fast a right-handed pitcher to a left-handed pitcher and going across the screen super fast that means that it's a good chance that it's an inside pitch and it might be a ball okay so the more time you have to react to the ball the more chance of it being a strike okay so if you are going righty righty and they are throwing it to the outside. You have more time than what you are expecting. You just need to practice that. So you can see with me changing. With the C method, I'm able to identify the pitch coming out of his hand. And then you have more time to slowly move the PCI up. The game rewards you by moving slowly compared to jamming jamming it'll feel like oh man i didn't put the pci right there okay so small circles before he pitches and then identify the pitch okay most pitches people are going to be trying to hit corners okay so once you show them that you are swinging early they're going to start coming with off speed pitches it's harder to have a perfect off speed pitch is going to be late release and those are going to be mistake pitches that land in the middle of the strike zone as you can see with the c method i am more successful and i am getting rewarded back to back home runs and you're going to be putting together four five and six great hits in a row okay this is not a cut video these are all back to back to back great hits by using small movements okay so i'm gonna play the rest of this video out i hope this helps you out number one watch the pitcher's brim okay so as you can see from the pitcher's brim if it goes down instantly that's in the dirt okay as you can see most pitches come from the brim and then either straight across or from the brim and then go down 
Okay, so you always want to try to get underneath the ball, pitcher out, until I can get one right there in the middle. Okay, so you can see that sequence. I overdid it. Now I'm going to go back to the small movements, and he hits the better. Okay, so you're going to see when I'm making the big circles around, that's when I'm not doing the C method, and I'm able to over jam it. When I'm doing the small circles, that's when I'm doing the C method. Okay, so watch. Boom. I'm able to wait on the pitch. My PCI is better, but the timing was off. Okay, so here we go. Small circle. Read the pitch inside. See how fast it came across the screen to me from the brim. There it goes. Wait on the pitch. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so once you get the timing down, you take a lot of pitches. You can see the fastball comes super fast. Where does he release it at and where does it use the end? And then the off speed. Once you see the release of his hand, then you're able to pick up on it. And now you're able to hit all your inside the park home runs, outside the park home runs, doubles, triples, make good contact. Now you know you done took a couple pitches, you done seen a couple pitches, you done seen the release point. Now he has to change pitchers again or he's going to be giving up a lot of runs. Easy, easy, simple methods. He goes to another pitcher. It's the same method. Take some pitches. I'm going to put a new better in. See where the release point is at. Let him throw his best pitches. He's going to throw a fastball. He's going to throw an off speed. You don't have to swing at him. Boom. I'm going to take that off speed. I can see if it drops, if it rises, if it curves. Boom. There's a fastball from his brim down in the dirt super fast. Fastball in the strike zone a little slower. More time for me to react. Then we're going to do the small circles, wait on the curveball. I was off right there, okay? So we've seen it, all the pitches that we need. Now we can react. Easy, easy method. Use it. Go back to this video over and over. Everything that I said, watch the brim of the hat, the release point, take more pitches, tire the pitcher out, and then you're going to be going back to back to back home runs, and they won't be able to throw you fastballs. They won't be able to throw their best pitch, and then you have them. Look at this. Destroy.